guys and welcome back to another video. I'm so excited to be back. I've been craving um, to make videos. It's been a month now and I couldn't wait to jump back on the camera and start filming for you guys. Now before we get started with the mini mail challenge I wanted to show you the winners from part two. So we've got Esther's gorgeous flip book here. So Esther was the people's choice winner and then Elaine Yilin was also a winner. She's the one who created this gorgeous flip book and it was very like kawaii. <laughs> um, so she was my choice as the winner. So congratulations to both these lovely ladies who entered from the part two mini mail challenge. I've already sent you both an email and you should have got your package a while ago um, since it's been about a month since I filmed a video. So I also have an announcement to make before we get started on the mini mail challenge um, opening video. I actually will be launching a stationary subscription box tomorrow. So this video should be uploaded Thursday the 29th of April and the early bird launch of our subscription box will be launching Friday night, so the 30th of April, and I think we're going to be launching around 7 p.m. So I've been working on this project for the last few months with a roomie um, on Instagram, also known as Pick Your Mix, that's her shop name, and we've collaborated, we'll be working with small business owners each quarter. It will be a quarterly subscription box. So I have lots more information to tell you about this box, um, but for now, because this video is going to already be a long video, I'll leave it at that and go check the link in the description because you can only access our early bird launch if you have a secret password and I'll be emailing you guys the password. So please sign up in the description. There'll be a link that will take you to a sign up page. Please sign up with your email and I'll send across the secret password on Friday if you want a huge discount on our stationary box that we'll be producing quarterly with lots of different artists. And the main reason we started this box is because we want to support independent business owners, illustrators and artists. And I know personally, whenever I want, ever I go onto like Etsy or someone's website to support independent artists regularly, it does cost a lot of money for shipping and I'm overwhelmed with the amazing talent that's out there. So um, this is a way that it's kind of like a one-stop shop. You only pay one shipping for the box of um, all these different designs inside and you get different illustrations like stationery in each quarter's box. So that's a little spiel of the new project and business that is coming up and let's get into the video. So congratulations to these two lovely ladies who won in part two and let's get started with part three. Oops. So our first mini mail of the mini mail challenge part three video is from Justine from Canada. And I adore this little character on the front. It is so cute. I can't wait to see what's inside. So the first thing inside are these earrings and they're so gorgeous. They're little leaf earrings and they kind of look like they are like little glass earrings. But that's so sweet. Thank you. So inside of the big letter, we have the little mini mail. And again, we've got these little cute characters, this little bike, little bubble tea, and also the little stamp that says Canada. I love this. Let's see if I can open this one up without ripping it. Nope, I ripped it. All right, this is so lovely. So we have a little pack of stickers in this little one here. We've got a gorgeous little washi tape sample. We've got maybe a little collage pack. I think I can see um, tags in this one. So we'll open this one up for you guys. And then we've got the lovely letter. Thank you so much. As always, I'll read the letters off camera. I won't show them just in case they're private. What sweet packaging. I love that you've decorated the outside of it. And then inside, this is so gorgeous. It's like a stamped um, piece of paper. So you must have like an orange and black stamp. 
Then we've got these little tags that you can write, like I always write addresses on them and put them on the front of mail art. And then this cute little doily, it's like a little collage pack. Thank you, that's so sweet. Thank you so much Justine, this is such a cute little mini mail, thanks for entering the challenge. Next we have this vellum envelope from Aisha from the United States. Your handwriting is so sweet, I love it. And then on the back it says enjoy. And there's this little envelope. There was a bit of washi tape, but I had to rip it off to open it. And then look, it says Brittany again. I love that you've already um, personalised it so much. Alrighty, so we've got a gorgeous little letter. And then we've got these little vellum baggies with all these goodies inside. This is so sweet. So we've got washi tape little washi tape samples inside of that one. We've got some extras. And then we've got some papers and stickers. So let's have a look at what's inside of these little bags. All of these little baggies look handmade as well. Oh, I love this, this little magazine cutouts. So we've got some beautiful butterflies. Some of these gorgeous stickers and it's very like monochrome this theme like it's all greys and then we've got these beautiful like botanical nature stickers this is so lovely oh, i love this one already how gorgeous i love that thank you i'm definitely getting cottage core vibes from this as soon as I said that, all of these are like super cottagecore. This is so sweet. We've got like the little picnic blanket, the little flowers and wine. Gorgeous little picnic blanket. This is so sweet. I love these little cottagecore pictures at the front. Thank you so much. I definitely got cottagecore vibes from this little package. I loved it. This next one's from Jackie and it's from Snail Mail Mummy and I adore her Instagram so please go check it out. Can't wait to see what's inside this one. Alrighty, let's open this one up. Oh my goodness, this is going to be so gorgeous. And let's see what she's created. Okay. Oh, your packaging is so sweet. I do not want to open it up. But we have to. Now how do I open this? I think it just lifts off. <gasps> what? What? Are you kidding? It is like one of those mini stationary boxes that I used to get. Oh, I've got to take a photo of this. Okay. This is incredible. So I don't know if you guys remember, but I actually used to get like big versions of these and they would be stationary packs with like little papers and stickers and everything inside. And this is like a mini one. This is blowing my mind. Okay, I'm going to take a quick photo and then we'll get to it. Oh my goodness. I don't even know where to start. I really don't want to open this up. I want to keep this in this little box forever. So I'm going to try to open up the packaging so that I can kind of put it all back in here. <laughs> all right, let's pop this down and we'll open one thing at a time. So the first little box has this gorgeous little twine in it and it's so teeny tiny. I love it so much, thank you. Next, we've got this gorgeous little tag with this real flower inside and because it's so tiny, my camera did not want to focus on it. But that's so sweet, thank you. And then we've got this little parcel. I love how it's wrapped and I don't wanna open it. So maybe I can just slide it out the top here. Oh my goodness, this is so gorgeous. It's a little handmade book. It kinda looks like a traveler's notebook. This is so sweet. And delicate and it's really well made what should I put in this maybe I can put all of my mini mail <laughs> um, 
entries in this and do like a little mini mail scrapbook. That's so sweet, thank you. So the next little cube had these two little parcels in them. So as you can see, this one here is a bunch of like cut up paper. And I'm not going to open this one up, but you can get a feel of what it is inside. Um, like I said, I want to try to keep everything inside of this cute little box and packaged as best as possible. So I'll pop that one back in its little square. And then this one I think I'm going to have to open. And wreck. I'm sorry. Oh no, maybe I can wrap it back up. Even like the wrapping is just done to perfection. <gasps> what? Is that a mini pencil? This is blowing my mind. How did you get a pencil so small? Oh my goodness. I think this is a little mini writing kit. Okay. I'll see if I can put it back like that, but maybe not. That is so gorgeous. I can't get over how small this pencil is. <gasps> that is so cool. Okay. We've got a teeny tiny envelope and writing paper. That's just crazy. This is so cute. Jackie, imagine if you made these for people, like these little kits, like mini mail kits with like all these mini things inside. I know that this must have taken like a lot of time and effort though. So thank you. I really do appreciate it. So in the next little cube, we've got these two little packages. So this one, I think it might be a little flip book. Oh my God, it is, isn't it? Oh, this is so cute. So I think this bottom one is full of like little messages. They're like little stickers that say like gorgeous and beautiful on them. We've got these little dot stickers in the middle. And then I think pretty papers. That is so cute. Oh, this is so lovely. Thank you. And then this little one says my name on it. So I'm guessing this is the little letter. There's even a little wax seal dot on the back. I might have to chop this one. Oh, yes, it's a tiny, tiny letter. All right, I'll read that one after. I'm sure there's nothing in there that's going to be too private <laughs> since it's like the size of my finger. But just in case, there might be an address or something inside. And then next, we've got this little parcel. Again, it looks like this little box is handmade. And it's so tiny. <gasps> oh my god! It's a little sushi kit. What? Again, you're blowing my mind. That is so insane. I can't believe you made that. That is like the cutest thing in the world. I'm going to have to put this with all my mini collections. And even like the color choice of the fabric inside the box, it kind of looks like a little picnic. That is so lovely. All right, I'm going to have to take a little photo of this one, I think, because that just blew me away. <laughs> The next little square. So all of these little mini packages fit in the next square. So I can see we've got a teeny tiny washi sample. Oh my goodness, this is wax seals. Oh, that's so sweet. Little wax seal dots. Okay, we have another little envelope. Again, it looks handmade. Oh, little papers. That is so sweet, thank you. And then it looks like we might have another little flip book. Oh, it's a little folder. That's such a lovely idea. <gasps> They're mushrooms. Can you guys see that? I hope that's in focus. They're teeny tiny mushrooms. That is so cute. 
better. And the last square is quite a long one. So we've got this that kind of looks like a little champagne bottle. And then we've got this teeny tiny package that's all nicely wrapped up. And then all another little, I think maybe a flip book or a folder again. So we'll start with this one here. And I don't know how you made these circles so small. I don't know if you have a hole punch that's like teeny tiny. Oh, it's a little flip book. So we've got tags. Some more tags. Some pretty paper. And then on the back it flips out as well. And some gorgeous stickers. And then also these beautiful little designs. That's so intricate. Thank you. This one actually feels quite heavy, so I don't know what's going to be inside this one. And I'm trying to keep the twine because it's just so gorgeous. <gasps> the little crystals! Oh, that's so sweet! Thank you so much! And then lucky last, this one looks like a little champagne bottle. <laughs> I don't want to open it because it's so sweet, but... I'll show you guys what's inside because if you're just like me, you'd just be too curious to know. <gasps> okay, I think I see a little jar. <gasps> what? Oh my god, I'm such a magpie. This makes me so happy. It's so shiny. Do you guys see that? I hope that's in focus. We have officially opened everything. Let me know in the comments what your favourite little square was. I think the few that blew me away was the little stationery kit with the little tiny tiny pencil. As well as I think the sushi, that completely blew my mind. <laughs> Alright, thank you so much. Let's get on to the next mini mail. So this next letter is from Russia, from Anne. So let's see what's inside. So inside we've got a gorgeous sticker sheet as well as I think this is going to be a really long letter to read so thank you. I love sitting down reading long letters. And then we've got this gorgeous mini flip book with all of these little um, like envelopes in each one. So let's have a closer look at this one here. Alright so the first one says so much fun and as you can see there's a teeny tiny envelope on top. And I think it's going to have all these gorgeous little mini ephemera bits and pieces. And already it's looking like a little nature theme. Oh, look at that beautiful dragonfly. This is so sweet. And the little stamp as well. I don't know how you guys find all these teeny tiny things. Do you guys print them, collect them, just for these mini mail challenges? I'd love to know. And it's so beautifully collaged as well, each of these tags. And then the back, they're collaged as well. So definitely have to keep all these little ones and put them straight in my journal. And then little quotes on each of them too. So that's our first little tag flip. The next one says create. Again, a little teeny tiny envelope. And these envelopes also look like they're handmade. I don't think they're bought. And again, we've got beautiful stickers and it looks like a little nature themed pack. Again, mushrooms, little locks, little note, like a, a book, some stamps and keys. I hope this is in focus for you guys. <laughs> I keep having to look up to my camera to check that it's in focus because everything's so tiny, it goes out of focus so quickly. And the back says, be in the now. I love that little saying. We've got a little washi tape sample. Which is very, very cute. What is this? It's like a little pocket full of little mini envelopes. Oh, that's gorgeous. I can use these for my next um, mini mail challenge. That's so cute. Thank you. Good vibes only. 
I love that you've collaged everything. And you've got my favourite. And then I think we're back to the start again. Let me just double check. Oh no, it's ripped. Oh no, we haven't opened this one up yet. Oh, this is so cute. They're little dots. That's very cute. That was such a sweet little flip book. Thank you so much for entering the mini mail challenge. I love that you created like a little tag flips with all cute little mini envelopes inside. And the theme is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much for entering and I can't wait to read your letter. So I'm not 100% sure who this is from yet, but there is an Instagram on the back. So I'll check that one out. Um, but hopefully it's part of the mini mail challenge. So let's jump right in, let's see what's inside. So inside we've got this gorgeous package and it's very pink and pretty. So I can't wait to see what we've got here, but I'm loving how colorful and kawaii these stickers are. Oh, we've got cute little pandas. Alrighty, so I'm pretty sure this is part of the mini mail challenge. If not, it's just like a coincidence that there's lots of little minis, <laughs> mini envelopes in here. Um, but I think these little um, like dinosaur stickers are so cute. They make everything look so kawaii. So this little one has like a little baby dinosaur. This little one's like blowing a bubble. <gasps> We've got some tea. And then some beautiful paper for your scrapbooking. That's so lovely. Oops. And then we've got this gorgeous one here of this little dinosaur sleeping. So maybe let's start with the small one and we'll work our way through them. It's so teeny tiny. So some more stickers. I hope they're dinosaur stickers. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to cut this one because it's not budging. This little one here is drinking bubble tea. That's so cute. So next we've got this little folder. Oops, how do I open it? <gasps> it's an adorable little flip book. So we've got these two little washi tape samples. Then we've got Open Me. <laughs> Enjoy the mini mail and have a nice day. This is so cute. We've got these little hearts down here. And then I think these are just gorgeous, like decorative cards. Maybe the little tags I can put in my like journal with gorgeous little flowers on them. I love these little things. I always collect them and scrapbook with them. With more gorgeous little dinosaur stickers. That's so cute. So next we have tea collection. And then we've got these two yummy looking teas. So Christmas mystery and spring melody. Yum. <laughs> it's really fun to get teas in the mail because I always sit down afterwards, drink a cup of tea and read through the letters. So this is perfect, thank you. And then we already read this little one. It's a bunch of pretty papers. So all the purple papers that we've seen so far. And then lastly, this one looks like a little handmade envelope. And I'm hoping... Oh, what's this actually? I was going to say I'm hoping it's the letter. But I think we already got a tiny little note already. Oh, it opens upwards. <laughs> I was like, why isn't this opening? Oh, we've got a gorgeous playlist. Thank you so much. This is really, really sweet. And again, I don't think I got a name yet. I'll check inside and see if I can find a little name for this one. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's from Russia. So next, we've got this one. I'm pretty sure it's from Meredith from the United States. Correct me if I'm wrong, though, in the comments. Um, and I already had a little sneak peek of this one because I was trying to find a return address. So we've got this gorgeous little washi tape and I adore these little moons at the top here. Can't wait to use that one. We've got some pretty scrapbooking paper, some little lined paper, 
the little letter and a handmade pocket. And then we've got this cute little folder. So this one has a whole bunch of stickers inside. Now a lot of them look like they've been cut out. And then I think we've got like post-it notes and some more little stickers in this one. Oh my goodness, there's a little bee. <laughs> and then we've got some love hearts. And also a little flower post-it note as well. Thank you so much. Looks like you got really creative putting these little folders together. And also these little goodies here. Thank you for entering the mini mail challenge. And I'll read your letter after this video. Thank you. So this next one is from Jessica from Canada. There are so many cute kawaii characters. This little bear. Is it part of the bear bears? The wee bear bears? What is it called? Where it's those three bears? Oh, it's just so cute. Okay, so we've got So we've got this flip book here and it says hello for you Brittany <laughs> I always put voice on when I do that and it's this gorgeous flip book, but I think this one here gets smaller Maybe we will soon find out and it looks like you've done the little envelope flip book And I love your collaging throughout these Pop that one aside there and then we've also got these cute little pockets. That's such a pretty design. Oh, and on the back, grateful for all you do. Oh, thank you. So we've got the little washi tape sample. This is so lovely. I think these are an original art prints. Thank you. So I think this is a little upcycled envelope. Let's see. So we've got these papers inside, that's lovely, you can use these for scrapbooking. Oh, thank you so much, they look like little vintage papers. Next we have this gorgeous little house, and oh it's a little handmade card, that's so sweet, what a lovely idea. I think that print on the front is just so gorgeous. Thank you. And then we've got this little pocket folder. And then we've got the chunky letter in there. And then some more goodies in this little one. <gasps> Ghibli stickers, my favorite. So we've got washi tape sample. And these Ghibli stickers that are just so cute. Thank you. And then we've also got some post-it notes. Thank you so much, I just double checked and it is part of the little mini mail challenge and in the letter she said that this is her first little flip book she's ever made so I think it's absolutely wonderful what you've done and I adore this little mini card as well so thank you so much for entering and again I love that you've included original art print so thank you. So this one is from the UK. I don't know who it's from yet because there's no name on the back, but hopefully we'll soon find out in the letter. So let's see what's inside. So there was a return address inside and this runs from Tamana and it is already looking really adorable. There's cute little packages in here, really teeny tiny envelopes. Oh, and this one says to Brittany. <laughs> All right, it just keeps getting smaller and smaller. So, I think we'll start off with the big one first. I'll put this letter aside and it looks like it's going to be a long letter, which I'm really excited about. So thank you. And then let's open this one up first and then we'll get smaller and smaller into the little packages. Okay, this is already gorgeous. Is this going to be a little mini flip book? <gasps> Why yes, yes it is. I love your style. It's so vibrant. And I just love all the purples and pinks. Okay, so at the top here we've got a washi tape sample and this one at the top is really gorgeous. It's like a little travel washi tape and I'm longing to go traveling again. So, <laughs> um, oh, this one is one of those, I think it's called like a waterfall cards. So you pull it down. Yes. 
That is so cool. Let me see if I can show you from like a side angle. How creative is that? Okay, I could do that all day. <laughs> Let's move on. Um, this last pocket here, once it gets into focus, I think is a bunch of pretty papers. So we've got a big thank you. Then we've got all these teeny tiny papers that I can use for scrapbooking. Thank you so much. Now we've got like piles and piles of cute, adorable envelopes and packages. And I think I'm going to take a photo of this one before we continue. Alrighty, so I'm going to put these ones aside and let's go with this chunky envelope next. Am I going to be able to open it without ripping it? Nope. What is in here? Oh, we've got all these gorgeous little goodies. So I think it's all like little paper cutouts that you can use for scrapbooking. And stickers. And then what's this? Oh, it's another little flip book. That is so pretty. It's a little tag flip book. It's stuck together with washi tape. And... We've got little butterflies, little tags, little washi tape sample. This is so lovely, thank you. So next we have a playlist. So I thought this was gonna just be like a piece of paper with all the playlists written down. <gasps> little vinyls! Oh, that is so cool! That is such a fun idea! I love that. I might have to steal your idea. What a fun way of displaying your favorite music. That's really cool, thank you. I love how creative that is. So next we have this teeny tiny envelope. And I think there might be little stickers inside. Oh, I love how small these are. You guys collect these throughout the year. I never seem to find really teeny tiny stickers for these mini mail challenges. I'm gonna have to get really creative next year. You guys are just blowing my mind. That's so cute. And then lastly, we have this adorable little package. And can you imagine if this came in the mail like this? <laughs> All right, I'm going to have to try to cut this one open because there's a lot of sticky tape around. <gasps> this is a handmade journal. What? Oh my goodness. Does this open? Yes, yes it does. That is so cute. Lovely and magical. This is definitely magical. I know where I'm keeping this one. This one is going on my bookshelf, my teeny tiny bookshelf. So my teeny tiny bookshelf is getting so full. Where will I put this? Maybe I can just set up there for now until I organize my bookshelf. <laughs> also, I got these cute little scissors from a friend and I was like, yes, that's going in my bookshelf. All right, let's move on to the next mini mail. Thank you for sending this mini mail. You had some really creative ideas and you've given me a lot of inspiration. So thanks for entering the mini mail challenge. So this next one here is from Shuchi from India. Before we open this one up, I just wanna show you all the gorgeous stamps at the top here. It's so cool. I might cut all these ones off at the end and put it in my scrapbook. Alrighty, let's see what's inside. Oh my goodness, this is so colourful! This is really, really cool. Look, this one's like a little shaker pocket. We've got this gorgeous hand-sewn one. Minnie Mail Challenge entry on Insta. Okay, cool. 
These are awesome! I love the vibrancy of this. It's so colourful and it just pops. So I think let's start with this one. And I'm going to keep this little wax seal. So we'll gently peel this one off. And then we've got this little for Brittany. A neat for you. Alright, I'll pop that one aside. And then we've got a bunch of these really colourful pieces of paper. So like massive doilies. And then we've got beautiful butterfly. Oops, I'm spinning it around a lot. <laughs> beautiful butterfly napkin. And then we've got like cacti print note paper, like writing paper. And then some gorgeous magazine cutouts, to-do lists, and also an envelope that matches the writing paper. I've never seen any of these prints before. Lovely, lovely stationery. Thank you. This one looks like it's going to be really cool. And you can see that the fabric is even sewn. All right. It's a little handmade book. This is already so lovely. <gasps> it's like an entirely sewn flip book. So we've got tags in this little pocket and this pocket was made out of a magazine. That is so cool. Washi tape sample. And I love how you've made this because I can reuse it for other things. That's cool. This or that. Oh, what a lovely idea. Everything in here is so fun and it looks like it's all been upcycled. I love this pocket. That's so cool. Just smile. Oh, this is definitely making me smile. We've got a little mail tag. Oh, teeny tiny envelope with a letter and a washi tape. And then, oh my goodness, the envelope is on top of an envelope. That is so creative. Got some goodies in there. And then a little pocket full of goodies. Oops, that one's stuck to the back there. I love that so much. It's so colorful and creative. It's even got little beads at the bottom here. How lovely, thank you. So. I think we've just got to admire this shaker pocket for a second. Firstly, it sounds amazing. <laughs> and it's so colourful. Look at it shine. Okay, I need to stop doing that. <laughs> Alright, so we've got an envelope. Again, this is so gorgeous. All right, I'm gonna put the shaker pocket down to open this one up. And we've got a little envelope flip book, so the two envelopes stuck together. Oh, and it gets even smaller, how lovely. Little mini envelope some um, beautiful papers, washi tape samples, botanical book page. So I'll pop these ones down and then what's in here? And then we've got a mail tag and I'm guessing another little note and the letter. That's so sweet. And then we've got these two little envelopes that even get smaller. So this one has gorgeous little, I think they might be stickers or just like word ephemera. Yeah, and then we've got some more of them. So a lovely bunch of stickers and ephemera in here as well. So these are the two little entries we got today. So thank you so much for entering the mini mail challenge. I really appreciate both of these flip books. They were both really gorgeous. So thank you.
So that is the end of the mini mail challenge today. So thank you for everyone who participated in the 2021 mini mail challenge. We've done all three parts now. So if you want to go check out part one or part two, um, I'll have them in the description box. Also, please go vote. So I'll have numbers on each of the mini mails that were part of the mini mail challenge. And all you need to do is click on the link in the description to vote. So thank you to everyone who entered. I'm gonna end this video by opening up this Christmas package because it took so long to arrive. This is from Christian Lee. Um, I created a big parcel for her at Christmas time and I finally received this one and I've been waiting so long and I really wanted to open it up on camera. So I'm gonna finish this video by opening this one. Now this is not part of the mini mail challenge. This was just a Christmas swap that I wanted to open on camera. So so let's see what's inside of this one. Alrighty, I've only waited like months for this to arrive. This is so cool. It feels so weird to be opening up a Christmas package in like the end of April. <laughs> Alrighty, so, ho ho ho. Oh well, it still feels so fun and festive, even though it is months later. I love the gorgeous Christmas packaging. Merry Christmas, thank you. Oh my goodness, there's so many goodies inside, you guys. This smells amazing. It honestly smells like Christmas again. Oh, this smells so good. Okay. I'm guessing that this card is going to be slash the letter. So I'll put that one aside. And then we've got this cardboard just to hold everything together. Let it snow. All right. Is this why the package smells so good? Yum. That smells so yummy. All of these adorable parcels. Okay. This is so cute as well. I love Christmas. So we've got like a huge... Oh, what? I thought it was going to be a flip book. I think it kind of is like a little flip book. little snowflake um, paper clip there and then what blowing my mind it's actually a paper bag you've done such an amazing job of decorating this okay let's see if I can get everything out without wrecking this that is so cool I love how you've made that. I can't believe that's a paper bag. I might have to steal that idea. Alrighty, we've got some, I think Christmas puzzle pieces. Is this for scrapbooking? Or maybe it's like a tiny teeny puzzle. <laughs> we've got a little decoration snowman. Oh, I can keep this one and hang this little girl or guy up for next Christmas. And then we've got, what is in here? Oh, yes, ingredients. We've got little recipe cards. That's really cool. What a lovely idea. And then there's more instructions on the back here. That's so cute. Oh, this is so cool. I'm like stocked up for Christmas now. All of my Christmas stationery can come from this package. Cute. And then we've got all these gorgeous little stickers. Thank you. 
And then what? What is in here? Oh, I think this is a little snowflake. Is it like a little DIY kit? I'll have to keep this one until next Christmas if it is. Yeah, I think it is. Oh. I don't know. So this is showing me the origami. Oh, I get it. Okay. So you, it shows you how to fold the snowflake and then you put these little stencils in on the side and then it gives you these three different patterns. That is really cool. I like that idea a lot. That is a really awesome DIY. Thank you. I try to make snowflakes all the time. They do not turn out like that. <laughs> okay. This is so exciting. We've got like little teas in this cute little adorable baggie. And again, this beautiful cinnamon stick. And then a cute little rubber. That's really sweet. Oh. This is another little DIY. Okay. Have you ever seen snow? Maybe in Japan. I don't think Australia has any. I forgot there's places that never get it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I forget there's places that never get it, but also snow in places you wouldn't expect, like Hawaii, New Zealand. I thought you could make ornaments, baubles, oh, with people stay there or anything, garlands. Okay, so it's like a little DIY kit and I can make my own snowy, snowy something. That is so sweet. I love that. And I would love to have a white Christmas. So this is such a sweet idea. When I went to Japan, Dan and I got our first white Christmas, but it didn't snow that much. It only barely snowed the night before Christmas, I think it was. And then I like ran outside. <laughs> I was so excited. And um, it was all like melted the time we got outside, but that's really sweet. Thank you. One day I want to experience a white Christmas where it's like I can go outside, chuck snowballs, <laughs> make some snowman. I did make a little snowman in Japan, but it was only with the stuff on the side of the road, like the snow from the side of the road. It was very small and my partner Dan laughed at me. <laughs> Content. Four felt shapes, two felt stickers. Okay, I think it's going to be... Another little DIY. Yes. It's so funny getting this in April. So we're going to be making these cute little um, like garland stockings. So we'll have to keep all of these cute little DIYs for Christmas time. Thank you so much. That's such a little creative package. I'll read your letter off camera. But I really appreciate it and it made me feel very festive. So thank you. So I was going to end the video here and then I realized I still have such a big pile of mail that I haven't got around to opening up on camera. So let's continue the video and I'll show you what other mini mail, sorry, I'll show you what other big mails I've received over the last few months. Okay, so this big package is from Demetra from the UK. So let's see what's inside. Oh my god, it looks like it's going to be a gift. The packaging is gorgeous. I love this print. Can you see all the little birds? And then we've got Totoro washi tape. So amazing. I'm going to try to keep the washi tape because I don't have this My Name is Totoro one. <gasps> this is so gorgeous. Oh my goodness. This is like... We went from like mini mail to like the biggest happy mail. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna keep this paper aside. And then let's have a look at this humongous happy mail. So at the top it says, hello Brittany. And the collaging on this is so beautiful. So what have we got here? 
So there's lots of triangles, and I think it just might be like a sticker sheet that you can use the tri triangles as stickers. Oh no, I spoke too soon. What is this? So we've got this gorgeous print on the back, which I would love to frame because I hope this is going to be what my life looks like. <laughs> just bunches of art classes and donuts and painting and life in full colour. Like this is my life, I feel like at the moment. But yeah, I don't understand the other side. So hopefully there will be an explanation. Maybe just like thinking off the top of my head, maybe you have to like fill in all of the boxes and then like once you've completely filled it in, all of these squares will make up the image on the back. Like it might be a little puzzle piece and it might kind of be like a countdown to how many days you craft in a row. Am I getting this right? I think I am. <laughs> all right, let's put that one aside. And let's have a look at this. This is really, really cool. So we've got this gorgeous pencil. See if I can get this in focus. It says be brave. Oh wow, this is so pretty. So we've got these little peel off post-it notes. A little rainbow and a little apple there. Oh yes! We've got the washi tape samples! I'm really excited about this one. So we've got the Totoro washi tape, which I can't wait to use. I'm definitely going to do like a little scrapbooking session at the end of today. Love it. Thank you so much. What is in here? We've got, oh my goodness, little mini mails. So we've got these gorgeous stickers. And then these beautiful mini envelopes. These are so lovely. Thank you so much. I'll put everything back in. This gorgeous happy mail. What is this? This is so cool, it's a little colour us in. So did this come from like a creative box? Because it looks like these are the pencils in this picture. And this actually looks like this sticker down here. I'll have to look up this website and see what we've got here. Cool. Very intriguing. And then there's adorable snail mail with the little snail. And it's a little card and envelope. Love that one. Let's pop that little guy back in here. And then what? It opens up again. This is so cool. So we've got the letter. I love how you've designed this. This is really creative. So we've got another little pocket on top here. Oh my goodness, I love that. Little flowers, sound of music, we've got ink, a little sewing machine. These look like they're from the Flow magazine and they are. Yes, I can tell. This actually looks like it's from the Flow magazine as well. And then this gorgeous little open me. A baggie of stickers. That's really cool. And this is the little mini mail. This is one of the um, designs that was over there. And then we've got Peel Me Off. That's cute. That's really cute. Like a little notebook. And then we've got some gorgeous paper. Again, I think this is from the Flow magazine. Which I love because we don't get the Flow magazine here in Australia. Not the Paper Lovers book. We get the normal Flow magazine, but this all looks like it came from the Paper Lovers book. Thank you so much. This was such an amazing flip book. And completely opposite to the mini mails. <laughs> oh, wow. I love that collage on the back as well. I'm going to have to really like pull this whole thing apart and put it in my journal. 
thank you so much. I really appreciate this gorgeous gift in the mail. So Faith is actually one of my Patreon members and she also is doing a post for me on my blog. So I've got a blog over on my website and this is actually a upcycled envelope she's created for the blog post. So when that blog post becomes available, I will post it on my Instagram. But this envelope was made from the little tutorial she did over there. So, oh, this is gorgeous. Okay, gorgeous. Loving it, Faith. You did such a good job. So we've got a massive washi tape sample. It's so funny that I've just did half of this video as a mini mail challenge. And I feel like everything that I've opening up in the big mail is like super sized. <laughs> like put this next to those mini um, washi tape samples. And this is massive. I love how big that is. Beautiful paper clip. And then we've got gorgeous scrap papers. So in the blog post, I won't give too much away, but it's about how to recreate things using scrap papers. So I love that you've shared some scrap papers with me because then I can use some of the tips that you've given in the blog post and use some of these gorgeous scrap papers. Oh, that's cool. I like that one. Cute. Thank you so much for sending these. And then the little notes there. Thanks, Faith. I can't wait to start posting out your blog post. And I really appreciate how big these samples are. So thank you. The next mail is from Libby, also a Patreon member of mine. And I often catch up with her over on our Zoom chat. So it's always fun to get mail from people that not only you've um, met via pen paling, but also met um, over Zoom, so it's so nice to catch up with my Patreon members. Um, let's open up and see what's inside. This looks so colourful and fun. There's a little note on the back of this one that says, Congratulations for my stationary designs. Thank you so much. And it says that um, it's going to be tea themed. So I really appreciate this original art. It's so nice to get artwork from you guys, so thank you. And then look how fun this looks. I love all the little details that you've added. This beautiful wax seal. It's gorgeous teapot, which I want in real life. <laughs> I wish I had this little set here. Happy Mail. I think it's been stamped on or maybe printed. We've also got an envelope of goodies down here. Oh, this is so lovely. Libby, you do such a good job at creating happy mail. I'm going to sit down for this one. This says private, but I love how you've made the envelope letter as a flip. And then we've also got this gorgeous quote here. And it's really cool that you're doing like a teacup theme, um, like a tea theme. And we've got Alice in Wonderland quote. <gasps> I do not want to wreck this gorgeous wax seal. Can you see what that is? It's like a mountain range with trees and a moon. I'm going to have to like cut it at the top because I want to keep that. Also, I don't know if you can tell, but it's getting late in the afternoon now. I've been filming for like maybe two or three hours. So the sun is going behind the clouds and my lighting is going away. So I do have a... Uh, actual light now but I really need that daytime light to make these videos bright holy moly there's so many stickers in here Eep. that is so cute sweater weather oh no you can hear that I'm getting tired <laughs> talking to myself for hours makes me go crazy those are really cute stickers. Thank you so much. And then I'll read you out the quote. So it says, would you like an adventure now or shall we have tea first? That's really cool. And then there was a playlist. Again, the letter in here. And then this is gorgeous. There's so many extras. Oops, can I pull this one out? Oh. It's been stuck in there for a while. Oh, it's oh dear stationery. That's gorgeous. 
gorgeous. I love these. Thank you so much. I love the shiny bits to these ones. I'll pop this back in. And then what have we got here? We've got this cute little cat tags. <gasps> washi tape with my favorite Ghibli or washi on it. More kitty cats and some beautiful papers. I love how you've designed this. It's very, very beautiful. Thank you so much. And then we've got a whole nother envelope of goodies. And this is so pretty. I love the shine to this. Sakura flowers. Japanese cherry blossoms. I'm definitely going to keep that one. So you may see that one again <laughs> when I design with it. We've got some ticket stubs. What's that? I think it's like a little paint swatch. My throat's getting a bit sore since I've been talking for hours on end. Oh, that's gorgeous paper. I love that. That's really sweet. Thank you. A little cat card. Oh my goodness, I didn't even realise. <laughs> and then there's little fishies. Oh, yes, another cheesy joke. Was it you that gave me this last time? Oh, I always get excited about these ones. What is a pirate's favourite cheese? Cheddar. That's a good one. Arr, me hearties. All right. Oh, that's nice paper. And then we've got oh, Alice in Wonderland Disney postcards. I need to organize all of my Alice in Wonderland stationery and put it all into one big folder because I feel like I've got so much of it now. It's like one of my favorite themes, Alice in Wonderland. Do you know what I would have loved? I would have loved to have like an Alice in Wonderland themed birthday party one year or just party, not even birthday party. Just like get everyone together and have like a massive Alice in Wonderland theme. That'd be so cool. Thank you so much, Libby. Oh, I'm going to keep this string actually. That was so gorgeous. So continuing on the Alice in Wonderland theme, this is also a happy nail from one of my Patreon members and we did a Disney swap and this month I actually did a swap and this is from Nanette so I can't wait to see what's inside. The letter writing paper is absolutely gorgeous but I won't show the letter on camera just in case she doesn't want me to. So I can't remember what I sent. Um... It was a Disney themed one, but I have no idea what I did because it was such a long time ago. <laughs> so look at these teacup paper. That's so gorgeous. Oh, this is so lovely. I love that. Then we've got this beautiful card. Did I do Alice in Wonderland? Now I can't even remember. So we've got a vellum bag of goodies and again gorgeous Alice in Wonderland theme stickers like we've got the bunnies and the teacups and Alice stuff watch oh, this is so cool oh, I love that one so pretty thank you so much and then it flips out again. I don't know where you found your stationery from, but this is absolutely gorgeous. Washi tape samples. And then two more of these gorgeous quote cards. I love these. Okay, so my phone just rang, so we're up to these postcards. And these are so gorgeous. I don't know where you collected these from, but they're so pretty. 
off with their heads. Oh, this is their maid one. Oh, that's right. Did we make the postcards ourselves? I think that was the mini ma um that was the challenge for the month. Now I can't remember. I'm gonna have to go back and check. <laughs> that's so gorgeous. Thank you. And then we've got some more beautiful paper. All oh, these little bunnies, they're so cute. Look at the cute little mama with the two little baby bunnies. Just hopping all over it. This is really, really sweet. How lovely, thank you. Thank you so much, Nanette. I loved it. I can't wait to start using all of the Alice in Wonderland stationery.